This content has been deemed inappropriate for children under 13. Viewer discretion is advised. This is for adults only. Adult collectibles. So the first one we got was the Mandroid Build-A-Figure, which was a Captain America wave. And in order to build that Mandroid, you needed to get the Captain America, Red Skull, Baron Zemo. And of course, you could swap out the Red Skull and Baron Zemo and either get the AIM or Hydra if you wanted instead. You had to get the Winter Soldier, the... MCU version of Captain America down at the bottom right with his blue shield and costume and the MCU's Black Widow there. The cap in the middle did not come with any kind of build-a-figure piece. That's the World War II Captain America. Next one we got was the Ultimate Green Goblin build-a-figure wave. And in order to build him, there were several variants in this wave that you could choose from. So you had the Anya, and this is called the Skyline Siren, so you choose from her or the Black Cat. You can choose from Boomerang and Ultimate Beetle. You could choose from Carnage and Toxin. The same card back gave us the Walgreens exclusive um, Agent Venom, but it did not have any kind of build a figure piece in there, of course. Um, you had the Amazing Spider Man. Twos, um, Electro, and Spider Man. And then you also had the Superior Spider Man. And that was the one you had to buy in order to get these this Ultimate Green Goblin. So next you had the group build a figure from the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And in order to build those groups, you needed the Rocket, the Drax, Star Lord, Gamora. And those were all MCU versions. And then you needed the comics version of Nova and the Cosmic Iron Man. Next, Toys R Us exclusive, you had the X-Men Wave for Jubilee's Build-A-Figure. And in order to build Jubilee, you needed to get Strife, Magneto, Cyclops, Storm. But also in that wave, you had a Wolverine that did not come with any kind of Build-A-Figure piece. This was the unmasked version. Next, you had the Odin All-Father Wave. And you can build two different Build-A-Figures. This right here is the King Thor. And you would need to get the Captain Marvel and I think Machine Man in order to build this one. But you'd also get, of course, the Iron Fist, Hawkeye, and Thor. So the only variation in order to build the Odin was that you would get the Century rather than Machine Man. And you would get Scarlet Witch instead of Captain Marvel. So next you had the Hobgoblin build a figure wave. In order to build a Hobgoblin, you need to get Spider-Man. This was the Pizza Spidey, one of the most rare ones out there now. You had the Anti-Venom, Spider-Man 2099, Spider-Girl, Ultimate Spider-Girl, and Daredevil. Next we had the Thanos build a figure wave. And this was considered an Avengers way, most likely. Uh, you had three MCU figures. You had the Iron Man, Hulk, and Captain America. And then comics-wise, you had the Batroc. And then you could either choose the Hellcat or Spider-Woman in order to get the head and arm. And, of course, this Thanos was pretty much re-released with a better uh, form in a Walmart exclusive. So that kind of took that price for this build of figure and dropped it as well. Then we had the Hulkbuster build a figure wave, which is the MCU Hulkbuster. You had the Marvel Now Iron Man, War Machine from the MCU, Blizzard, Doctor Strange, Vision, Valkyrie, and 
pretty sure that's Thundra. What I didn't like about these is that they wouldn't actually give you the name of who the character was. I'm pretty sure that's who that was. This was, uh, at this time, the biggest build a figure that they'd done in a while. Next, we have the Ultron Prime build a figure, which was the Ant Man wave. So, from the MCU, you had Ant Man. That was it. Um, then we have the comics version of Wasp. Bulldozer finally released, but it was supposed to be released way earlier as a variant of Wrecker. You have Tiger Shark, Grim Reaper, and Giant Man, another costume there. Then we had the Rhino build a figure wave for Spider Man. Rhino came with two separate heads you could put on him. You needed to buy the Scarlet Spider, Superior Venom, Craven, Misty Knight, or White Tiger, Ghost Rider, and Chameleon. And of course, Chameleon had swappable heads with J. Jonah Jameson and Hammerhead. So for the Infinite series, that is what we got. There's what we have to choose from. So I appreciated this particular time period in the Marvel Legends collecting, where we collect all these build figures. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up. Check out my other every Marvel Legends videos. Also check out my other every build a figure because there are so many different time frames that we've had in Marvel Legends collecting. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys later.